All Aboard, bringing you board games, tonight on All Aboard. In Seven Wonders Duel, we will construct buildings to produce resources, deploy our military to sack our opponent's capital, and develop science to become the most advanced civilization. We will build wonders which will give us special bonuses and we will travel through three ages as we endeavor to become the most prosperous city. Hi guys, my name is Gly. And I'm Pat, you're very welcome to All Aboard. So the first age is already laid out here and now we have to choose our wonders. So we've already chosen the first player and that's going to be me. And so we have to choose two wonders each. So I choose the first one, then Gly will choose two and then I'll get the last one. And then we'll put out four more wonders and do the same thing again. But next time Gly will get to choose the first one. So what would I like here? Um, hmm. I think that I'm going to take this one, Pirias. Pirias, huh? Okay, so I'm going to take the Great Library and also the Sphinx. Leaving me with the Colossus. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And four more. So this time we have the Apian Way. The Pyramids. Circus Maximus. And Ooh. the Great Lighthouse. It's also the Great Lighthouse. I'm going to go with the Great Lighthouse. Mm, it's good for resources, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I'll take the Apian Way and Circus Maximus. Okay. And the Pyramids. Okay. okay. Okay, so now we have four wonders each, but we can only build a maximum of seven wonders throughout the game. And these will not be built until we actually take an action to build them. And we also start off with seven coins. So we have seven mm -hmm. coins each. And this is the layout of the first age. So I go first and I'm going to build the stone reserve. So that's going to cost three coins. And it means that I can always buy stone for a cost of one coin. Right, so I'm going to build the lumber yard for free. Nice, okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe some free wood there. Okay, mm -hmm. and I'll build the logging camp, and that's of course. also going to cost me <laughs> one, yeah. Have all your resources ready now. Oh. Oh, science is starting to come out, okay. Yeah, I am going to get that's science, uh, the workshop oh, okay. for two, because you don't have a production of papyrus and I need one papyrus. Okay. Yeah. So That's if it. you don't have the resource that you need, you can use the trade action. And that just means that it costs you two coins base cost for the resource. But if your opponent is producing it on one of their brown or gray buildings, then you have to pay an extra coin for each one that they produce. So as I just said, yeah. yeah, I don't produce any, so she was able to buy that for two. And I think I need some cash, so I'm going to get the tavern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good free cash. Yeah, and that gives me four. Okay, I'm going to buy the press. So oh. that's one of my productions, so it gives me one. And that costs one. Okay. And that's going to produce papyrus for you. Yeah. Okay. Now I think I'm going to take the altar. Altar for free? Yep. Okay. I am going to buy this bricks or clay pit. Okay. For one. Okay. Um. You know what? I'm going to attack you with the guard tower. <laughs> it's one attacking me, yeah? Yep. Okay, I'm going to turn this into money. So that's two. So when you turn a card into money, you get two coins plus the number of your yellow cards. So I don't have any yellow cards, so I get two. But for Pat, he will get four in that. Uh, That's yeah. right. Yeah, because I've get... got two yellow cards. So I would have gotten the base, two coins, plus one for each of my yellow buildings. Correct. 
And there is a lot of science out here. <laughs> uh, so I think that I'm going to build one of them. So I will build the pharmacist. Okay, so, so that's going to cost me two. It's going to cost you two coins. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to change. I'm going to build the apothecary. So that's for uh, one glass, but I don't have glass and you don't have any production of glass. So that okay. will cost me two. Sure. Okay. Uh, so you have two scientific symbols now, right? Okay. But you know what? I need to spend one because I need some stone production. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to build the stone pit. All right. So I am going, of course, you're going to attack me next, but I am going to get the scriptorium. Okay. So that's for two coins. And I only have one money left. <laughs> mm. Okay. I'm going to... Mm. It's difficult because I don't want to get <laughs> stuck without money, you know. Okay, I will turn this into money actually so i'll discard the palisade and that gives me four coins because of my two economic buildings plus the base cost of two and the base yeah i'm going to get this for coins. free because i have a um, brick production so this is the garrison garrison okay so i will attack you for one we're back to the middle okay oh okay Ooh. so I think I'm going to take this clay reserve for three. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get this for uh, free. Also oh, three points. Mm -hmm. I think that I am... Oh, this is a tough choice. Mm -hmm. It's only two. <laughs> yeah, but they're both very good. Yeah. I might go for the quarry. The wood reserve is good too, though. <laughs> mm. Let's see what I what my wood Yeah, the need. yellow cards are good for your engine, especially if you don't want to pay. Yeah, the they give you a lot yeah. of money. But if I get this one, it makes brick really expensive for you. So it's hard for you to build your your pyramids, for example. I'm going to go with the quarry. So that's okay. free. And I don't have money, so I'm going to turn this into money. So that's two. Oh, I need to start getting those yellow <laughs> cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the end of the first age. And Gly went last, so she will actually go first in the next, next age as well. Normally, you would choose who goes first based on the weakest military, but because we're both level, it's yeah. going to be Gly. So let's set out set age up. number two. And we're back with age two. So you... Okay, so I go first. Start, yep. Yeah. So, yeah, the weakest military would have actually gotten to choose who goes first. Who goes. But, uh, yeah. You, you we're, we're in, we're, we're equal. <laughs> we're equals. We're all equals here. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to get the forum. So that's three coins and I have a brick production. Okay. I think I'm going to play my Piraeus. So... That is going to cost a brick, so that costs me one. And it's going to cost me a stone, which I have, and two wood. So I have one wood, so I need to pay three for the second wood. Mm -hmm. So that's a total of four. And I will use this card to build that. And so that gives me a papyrus or a glass production. Let's me go again and two victory points. That's good. And then for my second action, oh, I timed that badly. I don't have the money to do what I want to do here. So I am just going to turn this dispensary into cash. So that'll give me five. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to get this for free for six money. Okay. I need cash. <laughs> And so I'll use my two brick here to get the walls, and that's Ooh. two military. So. Okay, you start with your military, yeah? Yeah. How many? You don't produce any brick, right? That's correct. Yeah. 
right so I'm going to um, get the parade ground so I have one brick and I have to pay two bricks and I have glass mm -hmm. okay so, so that's back to yeah six coins right I think that I'll turn the no I you know what I'll just take it I'll take the drying room mm-hmm all right so i am going to um attack you again so i have i have um wood production and i also have a brick production okay what do we get here oh two wood okay i guess i should take this because you can make wood production very expensive for me otherwise mm -hmm. so that's, that's two coins Thank you very much, because I really needed some brick. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure whether I should give that to you or not. But so I think... that's two. Mm -hmm. I've got a brick in the wood, so I'm just going to take this one here for now. Oh. oh. Okay, um, I'm going to take this uh, military. So I have a brick, I have wood, and I have papyrus. Okay. So that's uh, two. That's two, is it? Yeah. Oh, so I lose two coins. Mm -hmm. That's this not good. good. Okay. I think I'll take the glass blower, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will get the uh, temple. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so I have a wood and papyrus. Okay, and I'll turn the barracks into some cash. So that's going to give me five. Oh. Just one second. Let me think about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay, I will turn this science stack into cash. So that is two plus I have two, four. Okay. Okay. Um. I think I'll pay two for two bricks mm -hmm. and I'll build the statue. Uh, two for two bricks. Uh, yeah, what is I got that one that one okay, each. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I am going to build my the great lighthouse. So I have a papyrus, another papyrus, a brick, and okay, a wood. Okay. Yeah. And of course, I'm going to use this to build it one. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get the science done. <laughs> yeah, so that will give me a wood, a brick, or a stone. All right. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, a wood. And you produce one papyrus, right? Yeah, I produce one papyrus. But I produce two, so it's okay because I forgot. I have papyrus there to do that. So I can take this science. Mm hmm. I'll put the school. So I got a school. Mm. Okay, so I produce. Do you produce brick? I don't produce brick, no. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't really need much <laughs> brick here. Okay, I'm just gonna turn this uh, brickyard into money. So that's four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the end of the second age, and you're winning militarily. And so now we shall put out age three. three. All right, okay. and so, so I decide who goes first, right? Eight um, money, that's a lot. That's not cheap, is it? Yeah. yeah. So, but you can afford it. So I am going to go first, and I am going to turn it into money. So that gives me five. Mm hmm. Wow. <laughs> oh, I should have taken the brick earlier. <laughs> but the the wood is very expensive, so. Yeah. It would cost five for wood. Mm -hmm. They have two wood production, so that's okay. And I have two brick production. I'll just get this. I, I think, yeah, that should be. F I'll have 
I'll have the Chamber of Commerce. Okay, so yeah. that gives you three coins for every one of your grey cards. So yeah. you get three coins out of it. I have two papyrus, so three coins. I think I'm going to... I'm going to spend by three brick and a glass and I'm going to build my Colossus. Mm -hmm. And now which one will I get rid of is the question. Yeah, I'm going to take the port. And so that gives me two military, which kind of makes my capital a little yeah. bit safer there. <laughs> okay. I'm going to build the Sphinx. So I have one, I have one bottle. Yep. A glass, sorry, I have one. <laughs> I have one glass and you have a production. So for the second is three and I have a brick and I have a stone. So I pay three money. Yep. And which one should I get? I will use this one okay. to build it. And then I can go again. Yeah. So I'm going to build the academy. Okay. So that well, would be. You're getting a lot of science. I have a four. brick. I have a, a wood. I have a glass. I need to pay three for the glass. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I could just one. Yeah. yeah. I should have gotten that. Hmm. <laughs> sure go now. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to build the Senate. Mm -hmm. So that's two bricks. So that's going to cost me two. Oh, you have, uh, you have oh, the. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, you have yeah, a yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, and that's built for free. More military. Oh, more military. Okay, so I have. I will build the arsenal. Arsenal. I think I should build an arsenal. So that's uh, that's going to be one brick plus two brick. Ah, no, 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 sorry. So two wood, so one plus one, and I need three bricks. So but I have one brick, yeah. and I need two more. You don't have any production, no, so, so that's four. four. And that goes one, two, three. <laughs> Uh, so, a papyrus I have, I'm going to build the Apian Way. Mm -hmm. And so that's going to cost me a papyrus, which I have, two brick, which cost me two, and one change, and two stone, which I have here. So I will put this one under there. So you lose three coins, and I get three coins. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You just attack me there, huh? And I get to go again. And so I will take the observatory for free because I have a stone and two papyrus. One here and one here. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. I will build the Tactician's Guild. So I have oh. two stone, one brick, and one papyrus. Okay. So that will give me coin on my military so one two three four five nice you got a lot of money there yeah help the economy along <laughs> and that will give me also victory points later. yeah it's mm -hmm. worth five points for you now okay i'm going to build this one so so that's going to cost three bricks and two wood so i have the two wood and i have one two brick mm -hmm. so i have to buy one brick right yeah. so that's one coin Pantheon oh, is out. So I just built the town hall. Okay. Okay, I'm going to build the Pantheon. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have so all the. I have this symbol, which is oh, this I see. one. Okay. Yeah. So it's a linking. Yeah. This needs a lot of strategy. <laughs> yeah. I've got a lot of blue colors there. I think that I'm going to take the palace. So that's going to cost. A brick which costs me one and then a stone which I have a wood which I have I produce a glass here and I produce a glass here okay. all right 
I'm going to build now I'm going to build the pyramids I have one two three uh, stone okay and also one papyrus use this to build a pyramid Oh. They had a lot of civilization <laughs> Okay, I'm going to build the gardens. Mm -hmm. So that's going to cost me two for the brick. And I have the wood for free. Alright. So I am going to get the siege workshop. That's for free. Not free. I have okay. the symbol. Oh, okay. So, so I'm going to do some cash here. Mm -hmm. And okay, Ooh. I'm going to build my Circus Maximus. So that's going to cost a glass, a wood, and two bricks. Okay. I'll knock this back down here. And you lose your papyrus. Oh, a grey card. Mm. Thanks for your service, Press. <laughs> <laughs> Um, very helpful <laughs> and uh, which one of these I suppose this one here mm. okay mm. so that's the okay. seventh wonder built yeah that's the seven wonder build so we I can't I can't uh, build my the great library that's right yeah the great <laughs> library seems like I don't have a choice but to build this one <laughs> <laughs> okay so that is two bricks and one glass and I get money for my red card so one two three four five six I get six money for that all right and now I think that I'm not going to be able to build this am I too I don't have a brick and you took away all of my money mm-hmm Okay, yeah, so I think I'm going to build the university. Mm -hmm. You have this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have this symbol. And now I've got two symbols, so I can take one of these. And I think the only one that makes sense is to take the philosophy to give me seven. Wow. So that. And of yeah. course, I will take this. I mm -hmm. have two bricks. Uh, sorry, two stone, one brick, one wood, and one glass. Oh, okay. And that will give me another eight. Okay, so oh, that's it. That's so it. final scoring. Final scoring. Uh, guys, before we go to final scoring, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more board game contents. Yeah, guys, your thumbs up and your subscriptions really help. So please take a second to do that. And so final, final scoring. Sco okay, so you got Dly and Pat. Okay. okay, so your blue cards. I have 10, 13. 13. Okay, and I have 21, 21, 26, 30, 34, 37. Wow, that's yeah. a big difference. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's where I got most of my points. I don't have much after that, though. Okay, green cards. I've got 3, 4, 5. 5, and I have 5 as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, yellow cards. Yellow cards, I've got six. Six, and I think I've got zero on my yellow cards, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and your purple cards, or your guild cards. Yeah, I have a lot here. So I have one for each of my military card. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Plus you have more wonder, so that's four times two is eight. So eight plus six. Uh, Fourteen, oh wow, wow okay. And I have got a zero, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think you don't have purple. Okay, and for your... Wonders, wonders. I have six plus four, ten plus nine, nineteen. Nineteen, wow, that's a lot as well. Okay, I have three, six, nine, and two is eleven. Okay, and I I think you have. science, yeah, I just <laughs> have seven there. And you've got zero. zero. Okay. Money, I've got zero. I was attacked I, there at the end. <laughs> I have three. Okay. Three, three for every, I won for every three coin. And military, five and zero. Oh. Okay, so you've got 18 and six is 24, 38, 48, 57, 65. 
I don't think yeah. I can match that. Uh, 37, 42, 53, 70, 60. Oh, just five. You win by five. <laughs> That's the military one that I can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At the start, I was going for the science win, but then I realized because I was busy collecting the science cards, it was hindering me from taking the production cards that can help me throughout the game. It made my city less capable of producing resources. That's when I switched my game plan to civilian victory. In Seven Wonders Duel, you have to be prepared to change your game plan when it's not working. At the start of Seven Wonders Duel, I think it's important to get resource cards so that you can build your buildings and wonders at a lower cost. The more resources you produce, the more expensive it is for your opponent to get resources too. The Tacticians Guild, the Builders Guild and the Pyramid are all high value point cards. They all boosted my score today. It's good to work on this kind of cards. Getting wonders that give you an extra turn is a great way of getting those cards that you need that are covered by another card. It's also a good way to block your opponent from getting the cards that they need. It's great because I score both on my Tactician Guild and the Military Points. And towards the end of the game, I was able to get 5 coins from Pat and it stopped him from getting the better card on the deck. It worked out well for me. I didn't pay enough attention to my military today. I didn't think that Gly was going to get the military win, but because I neglected it, she ended up getting 5 points on the military track and I also lost a total of 7 coins in there. Gly also had great synergy with her tactician skill that gave her even more points. She played very well today and deserved to win. So that's it for today. You have been watching All Aboard. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.